everyone. So as you can see, we are back home. I want to come do a quick run through haul. This is actually the next day, to be quite honest. We left the store late um, yesterday. But anyhow, I wanted to give you a haul to show you what plants I did end up purchasing. So first, we have this tall guy right here. This is my favorite one. I was excited to get this one because up until now, I have had like tabletop size ones. So I wanted a big one to get put on the floor. I'm hoping this guy will get pretty big. This is a mass cane, it says. All the plants I picked, I tried to make sure they they were like medium shade, like they didn't need like high, like super direct light because the main room in my house, I would show you, but it's a mess over there right now with the kids' toys, is our front room. It has nice big windows. However, the heating system and the cooling system is right over there in front of the window. So that's not really an option because I don't want the plants right on top of the heat so they're across on the other side so they get decent light but I just wanted to make sure that high light wasn't really a big deal so there's that one right there I'm excited about that as you can see my little messy front room over there now also I got this which I'm excited about because I've been wanting one of these it is a money tree and let's see what does this guy say yep just you know money tree showing the whole setup of that now this one is actually pre-tied if you can see right there i um, was looking into it of whether it has to stay tied or not and it basically said it was a matter of preference of how you wanted it to grow i kind of wanted to like bonsai out and kind of like spread out so i think i'm gonna untie it but we shall see and then next move this over um something else i've also been wanting i got some lucky bamboo as you can see that right there and in doing some research i found out that this is actually not technically a bamboo it looks like one but the lucky bamboo is actually a, a darcinia i believe i'm pronouncing it correctly um it's in that family so anyhow i got that i got four stalks one for each of us and i'm gonna pot that i think i'm gonna do a video of potting that as well and then lastly for plants this one another one that i thought was so cute this one is called oh where's my card i believe it's called a bird's nest i don't know what happened oh there it is yeah bird's nest fern so i thought that was really cute too and i'm going to name this one ursula because i think that it looks like octopus tentacles so i really like that um as far as names go, I don't know what Connor is thinking. He had been previously naming the pot um, plants after sodas, which he doesn't even drink, so it's crazy. But he only knows a couple, and so we have more plants than soda names that he knows, so we'll have to see. So moving along as well, I also picked up this lovely flower pot right here. I thought this was really cute. I love the texture and the color of it. It's a clay pot. It has the... The draining which is good because when I was first getting my original plants I didn't pay any attention to that so I ended up with a lot of pots that are not self-draining so I didn't have to pay attention to that but I'm gonna use that for the mass cane um, for right now I'm just gonna set this inside of here because I know I don't have enough potting soil to add to this to really get it in there so I'm gonna do that at a later time but that one is for that and then because I don't have any and I didn't realize these were so cheap this was like a dollar sixty-eight, and I think the bottom part was like fifty cents. And the smaller pot down from this was like fifty cents. So the clay pots are really cheap, and um, I actually do like the look of it. So I wanted at least one that was in like a plain clay pot. But I think what I'm gonna do from now on is just buy the clay pot since I do like to, you know, decorate my pots and do fun things with them. These, this is the most inexpensive way. I think I'll just buy these and then I can just decorate them. You know, as I see fit. Because that was one thing I noticed, at least in Lowe's, that the pots were pricey for my taste. So moving over as well, I did get this pot. So I thought this was really nice. Again, I like the texture on it. It's self-draining and it already has the attached um, water catch tray at the bottom. So that's the plus. I'm going to use this for my bamboo. Um, I had my husband go out to the store for me and get me the uh, stones to put together with the whole bamboo setup, like I said, I'm going to do a video on that. 
And then this is not from Lowe's, but I wanted to show you guys. My husband actually bought this a while ago, and we didn't do it yet. I think I'm going to do a video letting Connor do it. But it's a grow your own salad. Everything you need to grow. This is everything that you get in the kit. And then what's pretty cool about it is you can um, set it up to an app in your phone. So it'll let you know, like, okay, you know, your salad needs more water. Your salad's almost ready you know, to, to eat, basically. So I thought that was really cool. And apparently this is something that was on Shark Tank. So I just thought that was cool. We've had it for a while, but we're definitely going to get around to doing it. So that is pretty much all that we got. Um, Just as a quick aside, I wanted to tell you guys, as I said earlier in the video, this all came about because I was on Instagram and there is a man on Instagram. His handle is the freebie guy. And so he posts like all types of giveaways and different things you can enter all in one place basically and then you can go through and um you know take your pick of what you want to enter and so have you so he had this uh, post up here up there about Lowe's and it said that they were doing a one day only coupon giveaway ranging from five dollars up to five hundred dollars and all you had to do was text this number with the word spring and everybody would get like an instant coupon so I figured at first it sounded a little a little wonky, but I went and checked the website and it was there. So I'm like, okay, so you know, this is actually real. So I went, I did it, and I ended up getting a one hundred dollar coupon. So I was super excited about that. My husband and I are not homeowners yet, so we wouldn't have needed anything like that out of Lowe's. But I immediately did think of plants, so that's what I wanted to go and get. So we went over there about an hour before they closed. The store was buzzing. It was so many people in there. I could see people with their phones out. They had their coupons as well. And so um, I won't say it was slim pickings, but there weren't as many options as I thought there would be. But I still found some good things. And like I said, I knew I wanted plants, so I went right to that. And that is what I ended up getting. But I did see some people in there getting... Um, you know, grills, refrigerators, I've seen online, people who won the $500 one, they got washing machines, all types of stuff, so it was really cool, I was excited, all told, everything I just showed you came up to $97.36, excuse me, with my $100 coupon, I obviously paid zero, and I must admit, I was a little annoyed to leave those $3 or so on the table because it was a one-time use coupon, one transaction only. I would have went back and grabbed another plant that I had that I put back. I must have been looking at the wrong price sign because I think I, um, when I add everything up, I was off. So anyway, that turned out really well. It was so funny. The cashier was confused. He thought he had did something wrong. So yeah, that was fun for me. And I got a couple more plants to add. So once I get these all potted and into their new homes, I think I'm going to do a haul a house plant haul and i'm just going to take you around to show you all of the plants that we have thus far so thanks for watching um be sure to check out some of my diy videos that i have there in relation to plants i took some plain like the plain plastic potters that come with the plants when you buy them in the store and i embellished them and did like some cool things with them so Check those videos out so you can see what I did. Also, don't forget to hit your notification bells so that you'll know every time a video becomes available and then you can see what I have going on. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.